Hello everyone! The topic of today is pivots and this video gives you a proven strategy to learn how to pivot smoothly and in balance. I'm Silvia Mezzasoma and this is Idea Tango. First of all, what is a pivot? A pivot is when you turn on your own foot. To pivot, we can take the impulse from basically any part of our body the foot, the knee, the hip, the upper body, etc. Today, we are going to focus on the pivots generated by the impulse of the upper body. We are going to work with two exercises. As usual, I'm going to show you my special exercises first, then I'm going to uncover the hints to execute them correctly. Exercise correctly five minutes a day, every day, and you will immediately experience a massive improvement of your balance and your pivot coordination. For these exercises, you need, once again, your best friend stick and a correct dissociation. To check the requirements for your best friend and the tips for a proper dissociation, you can check my previous video. I'm going to leave you the link in the description here below. Place the stick in the inside of your elbows. The elbows are in front of your torso and not in contact with it. And so is the stick, in front of your torso and never touching your upper body. Stand on the right leg. Dissociate towards the right and make one quart of a turn. Repeat until the exercise becomes easy and comfortable. Then increase the difficulty by making half of a turn. When it becomes easy, step it up again by making three quarters of a turn. And finally, one complete turn. Change leg and repeat with the other leg. The second exercise is like the first one, but now you're going to turn towards the opposite direction. So, if you now stand on the left leg, for example, rather than turning towards the left, as before, you now are going to turn towards the right. Once again, make it increasingly difficult. So, start with 90 degrees. When it becomes easy and comfortable, go to 180 degrees. Then step it up to 270 degrees. And finally, one complete turn. Change leg and repeat with the other leg. First of all, why am I asking you to pivot on the same leg and in both directions? Let me explain with two easy examples, one for the leaders and one for the followers. Leaders, imagine that you want to do a sakada. Then you invite your partner to do an ocho forward towards your right while you step with your right leg in front of your partner's back foot. And to exit, you pivot. You are now pivoting on the right leg towards your right. If you do the sakada with the other leg, you will be pivoting on your left leg towards your right. And then, if you invite your partner into an ocho towards your left, and you step for the saccada with your left leg, you will be pivoting on your left leg towards the left. Whilst if you step with the right leg, you will be pivoting on your right leg towards the left. For the followers, if you execute ocho forwards, you will be on your right leg pivoting towards the right or on your left leg pivoting towards the left. But if you execute ochos backwards, then you will be on your left leg pivoting towards the right or on your right leg pivoting towards the left. Regarding the technique, the first thing to know is that you always pivot on the ball of the foot and never ever on the heel. So before pivoting, make sure that your axis is on the ball of the standing foot and the heel is free of weight. To take the impulse for the pivot 
from your upper body, you need to create a tension in your back. When you dissociate, the twist of the back muscles creates the needed tension. Then you need to lock the position, engage your shoulder blade muscle, what I call the tango muscle, and pull the hip. The impulse is not generated by throwing your arms, as this would result in a disconnected embrace with your partner and in a very likely loss of balance. Instead, the impulse is generated by a controlled dissociation and the engagement of the shoulder blade muscle to pull the lower part of your body. Also, you don't want to turn in one single block. First the upper body and then the lower body. If your dissociation is not correct and your elbow is behind your shoulder, you cannot engage your tango muscle. Think of your body as in three axes. Axis number one, a vertical axis passing by your head, shoulder, hip and standing foot. Axis number two, a horizontal line passing by the two shoulders. Axis number three, a horizontal line passing by the two hips. You always want to keep your axis number one straight. If you break the vertical alignment of your head, shoulders, hips and standing foot, you break the axis number one. You always want to keep axis number two parallel to the floor. If you lose the horizontal alignment, you break your axis number two. You want to keep your axis number three parallel to the floor too. If you lose the horizontal alignment, you break your axis number three. You never want to break any of the three axes, otherwise your balance would be compromised. Furthermore, when you dissociate, you want to rotate the axis number two around the axis number one whilst keeping axis number three fixed, otherwise you cannot create the needed tension in your back. Another important aspect is that the hip, the knee and the toes of the standing leg always point towards the same direction. If you pivot your hips but not the toes, you create a twist at the knee level, which could lead to ankle or knee injuries. So please be extra careful. To help you with that, Focus on the heel of the standing leg and think that the heel of the standing leg wants to move in the direction of the pivot. Also, during the pivot, keep the same level. Do not go up, rather think that you want to drill yourself into the floor. Your final aim is to do a fluid pivot. Even though at the beginning might be useful to separate the movements to better understand the body dynamic, in the end you want to connect everything together in a fluid fluent movement, which is also easier as you can use the body inertia. If those tips were useful to you, tell me with a like. And if you want to watch all my Tango Technique videos for free, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Practice at home and enjoy your technique exercises.